What's up, you guys? It's yours truly, Sharice Mills. We're getting ready to drop a bag right here on Buzz. I hate your friends, but I didn't mean to. Scratch your bands, but I didn't mean to. Oh gosh, what happened? What happened? Really? I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I fucked your ex. You know, when most people look at me, they don't see opera singer. So I wanted to give them a taste of exactly what I am, a mixture, you know, like, a month almost you know being from the Caribbean that's what we are a combination of everything and music is universal for me so if I have a passion for opera I have a passion for you know hip-hop pop I'm gonna I'm give you a little bit of everything so I created this whole pop opera genre and wanted to just be organic be myself <laughs> I, I love saying I told you so. You know, when, when someone says, oh, I don't see it, but keep going, keep trying, or I don't like this record, it just makes me push harder, you know? And being a woman in the business, it was hard to be respected or um, understood, you know? And I'm just grateful to have a husband now that's in the game too that can kind of like be my backbone to where if you don't respect me, you better respect him. So it's like, you got, if you, you gotta go through him to get to me now. I, I just love, fluidity of music. So if the beat is right and the vocals come out and it moves you, then I feel like, okay, that's gonna work. Cause I feel like music is the food to our souls. So if it, if it doesn't feed you and if it doesn't feel right, like I wanna get them chills. When I sing, I want you to feel the music. So I got it. that's what, when I'm creating, I wanna feel it. It gotta make sense. You know, I want you to relate to what I'm saying and what, I, what it sounds like too. The crazy thing is my fan base is so diverse. I have eight year olds and I have 50 year olds. Because of the, the style of music that I do, it touches all of them. I love when I go back and sing for schools and I got the teenagers going crazy like, oh my God, I love you, I love this. You know, they, 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 I had a record called Champion that is just amazing. It's still charting to this day and it's a more positive record. So I do that for the schools, right? And it, it's it's amazing to see. I love the energy. For me, I sound better live than I do in the studio. Being a classically trained artist, um, performance-wise, you're trained to perform better than you're trained to record in a booth. A lot of artists, it's the, the, the opposite. Like they can they sound better on the record than live. For me, the energy makes me give you more, and I love that. Like I I feed off of that. If you wanna touch, drop a bag on me. Can't let a nigga touch if the bag on E. Can't put it on me if it's basic. You know this pussy good, nigga chase it. I got the shit on me. If some bags I gotta get, so I'ma get on it. If you want a bitch like me, he gotta spend on it. Yeah, this pussy stay wet, no need to spit on it. Man, speaking about paying for favors or paying your way, we got a record called Drop a Bag. So, you know, being a boss woman like myself, I, you know, I always always have some money in my bag. I always have cash in my bag. And I was in the studio with my husband checking out what he was doing because, you know, he's a producer, writer, artist himself. And he had this beat plan. And my bag, I put the bag down and it was kind of open and it fell open, you know, some cash fell out. And he was like, uh, what you about to go to do? Why you got all this money? I'm like, babe, I'm about to go drop a bag. He's like, drop a bag. No, we need to drop this bag on this record. I like that. So that just led into us creating this record called Drop a Bag. I was like, all right. He's like, you need something for the strip clubs. You need something for the, you know, just, just get people going. You're too, you're too nice. He's like, you're too nice. Get something that's a little bit more, uh, you know, let them see that, that side of you that you don't really show to the world all the time. I was like, all right, what side do you want me to show him? He's like, show, tell him, show him the side you show me. I'm like, okay. So he's like, talk your shit and I'm gonna talk mine. Can I cuss here? I'm sorry. Okay, talk your shit and I'm gonna talk my shit. I was like, all right, so I'm gonna write my, my part and you write your part. And from that, 
the record just came to life. He said I'm bad and bougie. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. the time new. new, new. They watching my moves, uh, hitting me on the shade room. Yeah, I'm bad and bougie. Hey. Don't give me no room. No. I do that you <laughs> Got your binge watching on Zoom. Up the road, they be cold. Playing on private, you cannot find me. Got that new. Okay, so, you know, those who know me don't only know me by my name, Sharice Mills. They call me bad and bougie. You know, and I want to get rid of the condescending way of being bougie is negative. No, bougie is good. Ladies, y'all need to be bougie, not a baddie. Be a bougie woman, okay? Real talk. So I have a, a line called Bad and Bougie Beauty, and I have makeup, lashes, lip glosses. Like, this is one of my lip stains. Doesn't come off. I'm the type I eat my mic. If For those who perform understand the word of eating your mic, Basically, I have the mic all the way up to my mouth and my lips. So I used to, when I would perform, lipstick would get on my nose. And I'm like, you know, like, look like Rudolph the Red Nose right there. <laughs> so I hate it. I'm like, yo, when I come out with my own makeup line, I'm going to make sure my lipstick stays on. So I created, the first line I did was the lip glosses and lip stains. So I created a lip stain that doesn't come off and it moisturizes. Not like the Maybellines and L'Oreal's that when you put it on, it's super dry and it chaps your lips. So these actually uh, moisturize. So I have these, I have lashes. You know, every girl needs a good lash. So I have lashes and uh, highlighters. So my, my, my thing is a natural bead. So you don't need too much. Like I don't wear foundation and all that every day. Like just a nice natural bead. Well, you can find me at Cherie Smills on all social media platforms. Also, my Bad and Bougie brand, you can find it at Official Bougie Beauty. And all things beauty and bougie is going to be there. Hi, my name is Cherie Smills, and you've just been buzzed.